The purpose of this video is to show how our Email Design Builder product, a product that helps small businesses create agency quality email designs, is integrated with your email platform. Our High Impact Designer platform also has a product that helps customers create fabulous looking Facebook pages, and we will shortly have a product to help customers create conversion increasing landing pages. Let's get started. When we start the Email Design Builder, you'll notice on the left-hand side a variety of different categories of templates. In fact, we have over 1,000 designs. Here, you see video metaphor templates. Here, there's, there's a large number of advertising templates, and we'll take a quick look through a number of them, which are stunning to say the least. We'll now go to the next category. Uh, called uh, Family Sets. And here you'll see a grouped category of templates uh, that can be used for a variety of different uh, themed campaigns. So we'll take a look at how some of these templates uh, look very similar. And we'll browse through them. The product also contains over 100 newsletters, and we'll take a look at just two of those. Uh, and again, we'll see the, uh, uh, the quality of these particular templates where uh, the image is behind a mask. In this case, there is the, uh, the, the month is on top of the, uh, the monthly newsletter. And over the past several months, we've been creating close to 100 mobile optimized designs uh, that and, and in this case we're going to select a design from that category and it's a very attractive one here where where the uh, there is an image of an iPad and we're going to show you how we can very easily change the image inside that iPad using our image editor and we're going to change the headline here to get our makeup iPad app. And because it's we've defined it as being a makeup iPad app, we're going to change the placeholder image that now exists in the iPad to that of a of a woman. So we double click on that image. Just the image inside of the iPad now becomes available. We're going to select the image that we want to replace it with. The image editor then automatically uh, auto sizes and crops the image precisely to the socket. We select the part of the image that we want to include. We click apply. The image is replaced. And now I'm going to even further um, add capability like adding text on top of this image. It's kind of like having a uh, the capabilities of a very light and easy to use Photoshop inside this product. So I'm going to apply the uh, text that I want to include and then I'm going to apply a number of uh, attributes to that text. I'm first going to change uh, the font style and I'm going to select a font style called uh, Junction. And then I'm going to apply a bold attribute and then to increase the font size. And when I increase the font size to this, uh, uh, this amount, uh, it exceeds the size of the text box, which I can easily remedy by uh, increasing the size of the text box. And now I can move that text anywhere on the image to make it look more attractive. I can also add an all text field here or a hyperlink, but for brevity, I'm going to move on. I'm going to click finish image. That image is going to be automatically uh, placed into the iPad design. And now I'm ready to send this particular uh, image. 
excuse me, send this particular uh, email design because it, it is a combination of both text um, and a very attractive iPad image. I forgot to include the subject line, so I'm going to uh, now type it in, and you'll notice it, you'll by its telltale mark when we look in my Outlook inbox that the uh, first letter will be um, not caps. Now that I've saved uh, the uh, HTML template design, I'm going to select the send through my ESP command. I'm going to select Infusionsoft, then next. I'm going to provide my authentication details to log into my Infusionsoft account. And when I'm completed with that, Infusionsoft will ask me what I want to do next. The email has been successfully saved. And now I select people, send a broadcast email, select email, and basically continue what I was doing. Select next, and this gives me a preview of the HTML design that I just uploaded to Infusionsoft. I'm going to send myself a test. And now I'm going to move over into Outlook and show how that particular HTML design rendered. And as you will see, the design renders perfectly in Outlook. In this particular case, it's Outlook 2010 in both its text and image format. So as a result, I'm able to create an outstanding agency quality design with little effort, upload it to Infusionsoft, and impress my customers.